Hittite, Mennonite, Phoenician, Babylonian, Assyrian, Mesopotamian, Sumerian. Ah, he's making it all up. Just one of those things. Ah, you pick this stuff up. You know, around the office. Peter, come in. Hi, honey. How was your day? Man, we've reached the security office. This one is a shambles. It's been sabotaged. Black slime all over the place. Only a few of the cameras are still working. When you're free, no rush. Open gate 3487, just for kicks. Give me a minute. Ray, stay away from any possession. Um, Dr. Rutherford, if you're still there, can you go catch Dr. Stance, please? The cavalry sword or saber was a legitimate weapon. Okay, I shook off that possessor. Found a different security room. Can't find Dr. Rutherford, though. I must have scared him off. You're not pretty when you're possessed, Ray. Seriously. I've got you on the cameras. You should be coming to the Civil War exhibit. Alyssa just passed through there. Okay, we're on it. Thanks. You know the difference between this exhibit and the other ones? The soldiers in this one have guns. The uniforms worn by the U.S. Army during the Civil War is a result of many different influences. The most notable feature of the uniform code was its dark blue color. Let's just pass through here as quickly as we can and... Yeah, I didn't really think we could do it. Just thinking happy thoughts. in the American Revolutionary War, could it? Or the war on growth, even the war on drugs. It just had to be this. That's a lot of whatever they are. Inside that tiny little trap. Maybe they 
obvious prop for those barrels are marked explosive. Wish this crap had a window. It'd be just like a little Vicksburg snow globe. Yep, they took some casualties. to the security office. I can see you guys on the cameras. No sign of Alyssa or her kidnappers, though. In the early 1900s, the museum was run by a board of trustees. Powerful guys, tycoons, captains of industry. The chairman of the board was Cornelius Wellesley of International Steel. The board used the museum as a respectable front for all kinds of dubious activities. Mainly, though, they were part of a club run by our favorite evil architect. They hired women from the St. Nicholas Rehabilitation Mission for Wayward Angels. Rumor has it the board conducted all kinds of nasty rituals using these women.